companies for sure. All of the major energy companies find it very attractive. They're, they're investing in it. Uh, the, uh, all the transportation companies find it attractive. The major polluters want geoengineering. It's a, it's a, it doesn't work, that's okay, but they bought themselves time. It gives them an excuse for not doing anything for another decade or another 20 years. Vandana Shiva, what are your thoughts on geoengineering? It is the idea of being able to engineer our lives on this very fragile and complex and interrelated and interconnected planet that's created the mess we are in. It's an engineering paradigm that created the fossil fuel age, that gave us climate change. And Einstein warned us and said, you can't solve problems with the same mindset that created them. Geoengineering is trying to solve the problems with the same old mindset of controlling nature. And the phrase that was used of cheating, let's cheat. You can't cheat nature. That's something people should recognize by now. Uh, there is no cheating possible. Eventually, the laws of Gaia determine the final outcome. We need that sunlight for photosynthesis. The geoengineers don't realize sunshine is not a curse on the planet. The sun is not the problem. The problem is the mess of pollution we are creating. So again, we can't cheat. And the final issue is that these shortcuts that are attempted from places of power, and I would add places of ignorance, of the ecological web of life, are then creating the war solution. Because geoengineering becomes war on a planetary scale with ignorance and blind spots. Instead of taking the real path, which is helping communities adapt and become resilient. Skies. These are sprayed particulate materials. You can see they're basically they're absorb, absorbing, absorbing the moisture rather than accumulating it. Usually, when they accumulate, you can see these clouds over here have a quite a bit of moisture to them, and as well, we see the the zebra clouds, the the herringbone, whatever clouds that indicates the electromagnetic manipulation of the sprayed materials and then if you look off here you can see these are all lines that's all lines there's no billowiness to these clouds at all that's those are all uh, blended lines of sprayed material that's uh, barium strontium coal ash aluminum sulfur and various other like materials and so let's see if we go over here a little bit you can see that that those are all lines there's basically sprayed lines That's what that is. Geoengineering, weather modification, environmental hijacking is what I call it because they de basically deny it. The mainstream media does not talk about it and that's basically what it is. Sprayed materials in your air. How healthy can that be? 
fallout will eventually poison uh, everything down on the ground. Monsanto will have the GMO alternatives. It's profit, profit motive. It's, it's all profit motive. It's about control, control for profit, control for simply the greed to control others, control the markets. That's what it's about, man. Yeah.